Now look there, Molly, there is a wooden Indian. You know, a lot of people think it takes a whole lot of skill to actually carve out these wooden Indians, but I know better. All you have to do is you take a big log and you cut away everything that does not look like an Indian. <laughs> right, Timmy? <laughs> That's one of my dad's jokes. He'll appreciate that. Okay, okay, let's see. All I know is that we are someplace in Utah. We're in this area because we're going to be doing a few different things while we're here. One that we're going to right now is that we're going to see just some simple man-made cave. It's called uh, the Bladder of the Beast or something like that. The Belly of the Dragon? <laughs> Molly? Yes? Are you excited to see the Bladder of the Beast? The belly of the dragon? Okay. Yes. Okay, all right. Yep, that's right. Well, I wanted to show you this. Molly, do you want to show them? Oh, actually, first of all, uh, Molly's birthday is tomorrow. So everybody say happy birthday to Molly. <laughs> now, Molly has her birthday present. She's actually wearing it on her back right now. Do you want to show them? Yeah. Okay, what have you got, Molly? It's a water backpack. A water backpack. Check that out. It's one of those camelback kind of things. Okay, demonstrate how it works. You open it. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Is this it, Tampy? Yep. All right. This is a little. Whoa! Oh my goodness gracious! All right, you got it, Tampy. Oh, hang on, hang on. Let's let mommy get down there first, and then then she can help you down. All right. Good. All right. Nice job. Mm. You wanna know what this is? Huh? You wanna know what it is? What, what the bladder of the beast? Yeah, it was originally like a man-made uh, tunnel for, it was like a water culvert under this highway that we're under. Uh-huh, we're under a highway right now. Yeah, and then just over time, the water flowing through it has created this interesting pattern. Oh, it kind of it kind of carved it out a little bit? Yeah. Hmm. Right, look at that. And looking this way, yeah, that's pretty cool. The camera's making it look a lot brighter than it actually is. All right, I gotta tell you what, you know, I, I joked about this thing being called the, uh, the bladder of the beast. It is called the belly of the dragon. But from what I can tell, uh, I feel like this is maybe a bit further south in the dragon's digestive tract than the belly. <laughs> if, you know, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's the exit right back there. Oh, oh my goodness. I don't know, Tampy. Whoever named this thing got it wrong. All right, and here is the exit to the, <laughs> the, the uh, belly of the dragon. <laughs> see, you can see one end. I guess that's the mouth or whatever you choose for it to be. And this is the other end. Just like that. That's, a, that's pretty neat. Nice soft sand walk in. It's yeah, cool it's in here. Uh-huh. Super simple, very short, but pretty neat. Oh, very pretty out here on the other side. I don't think we're going to do much more hiking. We just wanted to check out this tunnel. Tamby just pointed out that there is a, a animal appendage of some kind here on the trail. Uh, the optimist that I am wants to claim that that is a lucky rabbit's foot. Right? Yeah. Right, Molly? I don't know how lucky it was for the rabbit. Yeah, that's, you know, that, that is the paradox, isn't it? <laughs> <sighs> we had to add our mark to the uh, the tunnel here. I don't feel so bad about defacing this place. I mean, it is, after all, an aqueduct going under a road. What are you doing, Molly? You writing your name? Yeah. Just like the Egyptians did. Molly. Hey. Nice job. Thanks. <laughs>
Tammy's not gonna scratch her name in here like everybody else. She's just gonna <clears throat> scrub it on there with a, what is that? Uh, it's charcoal. Charcoal? Hmm. Or, yeah, something from the fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. That was a neat little spot. Yeah. I like it. We've got that down. <laughs> it's completely hands free. All right, Tambi, tell everybody where we are. We're at the Coral Pink Sand Dunes State Park uh -huh. here in Utah. Uh -huh. Coral Pink Sand Dunes. So yep. what is the big attraction here? The giant pink <laughs> sand dunes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got to say, Tambi, not to be too critical, but I this does not look even the least bit pink to me. No. Yeah, they're a little more orange. You miss feeling sand between your toes? Yeah. You like this feeling? Yeah. Yeah, me too. There are lots of these really pretty yellow flowers here. Yeah. It almost doesn't look like something that would even be growing here out in this kind of desert-ish environment. I also got one of these little bladder pack things. I actually just put it in this, um, it's not a purpose-built backpack for the water thing, but uh, from Walmart, they actually sell just the bladders. So I, I made my own little camelback system. Me and Tamby share this one. Uh, I've kind of got this thing about drinking after Molly. Uh, one time when she was a little baby, she had some of uh, my drink and left some chunks of food in there. And I didn't realize that until I took my next swig of my drink. It's just kind of a weird experience. And ever since then, I haven't liked drinking after her. Never got over it. So Tammy and I will share this one. Molly's got her own. And what this stuff is kind of hard to walk in, isn't it? I mean, your feet really sink down in there. Uh, uh. This is probably the closest I've ever been to, you know, walking across a, a desert, like the Sahara, you know what I mean? I mean, these are some huge dunes. I've never been anywhere quite like this. Here you can see Tambi demonstrating the deep sand trudge. This is the proper technique for navigating this particular soft sand. As you can see, she's got kind of a long labored lope to her step and she's got the arms swinging. This is to help generate the necessary momentum to climb the hill. Deep sand trudge. I can hear you swallowing. My goodness, gold, gold. All right, all right, that's enough. No, 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 no. That's no, that's plenty for you. You got to pace yourself. You get a cramp. <laughs> Molly, is is there any particular strategy or benefit to navigating this sandy terrain in your socks? Nope. It, that's it? Nope? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Oh, man. Come on, Tammy. Good job, ladies. I'm glad we're not doing this in the middle of summer when it's hot. I know. Come on, Tammy. I need assistance. Oh, thank you. Oh. That was a crazy noise. I'm gonna make that my new ringtone. <laughs> All right, so in the distance there, you can see that large sand dune we were on. Those little specks moving around are people enjoying their day, picnicking, playing with those. 
sand boards and such as that it is uh, a bit deceiving how much work it takes to get over there and to get back because man that sand is so stinking soft and so stinking thick that uh, the energy expenditure for that little trip is approximately the same as making it to base camp one on Everest but we did make it and now I don't know what has what uh, Tambi has in store for us next but we're about to find out as soon as I empty about a cubic foot of sand out of my shoes. What's next, Tambi? Back to the RV. Yep. And then we're gonna get cleaned up, get ready for Molly's birthday dinner. Birthday dinner. Where are we going, Molly? What's the name of the place? Thunderbird. Thunderbird? What are you going to get, Molly? Either the, ham the hamburger or the penne and cheese. Oh, that sounds fancy. <laughs> you know that's Italian? <laughs> Molly, how old are you today? Ten. Ten years old, Tambi. I can't believe we have a ten-year-old. Oh, my goodness. And what time was she born today? 5.30. Five, 5.30 Eastern time, right? 5.30, Molly. That's what time you emerged from the darkness into this world. <laughs> I'm glad to have you around. It's been a good 10 years, huh? Yep. Yeah. How long do you think you're going to hang out with mommy and daddy like this? Yeah. At least a few more? A few? Yeah. Maybe a little more than a few. Are you going to hang out with mommy and daddy? Oh, okay. All right. I'll never get old if you too. Uh, okay, Molly, this is video footage here. I'm going to hold you to it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Good birthday dinner, Molly? Yes. Pretty good. Thunderbird Restaurant. <laughs> Home of the homemade pies. Homemade pies. Oh my goodness. Did all that just come out of your socks? Yeah. Oh wow. Ooh, yucky.